Hi guys, and a very welcome to today's tutorial video showing you how to install the vPilot client onto your PC and to get connected to the Vatsim network as oh, quick. I highly recommend vPilot as it is a definite step into the future and it is a very easy to install and use. First thing you can do is going to go to this website here, a uh, link to this will be in the description below, and then you're going to press on the download tab at the top. You want to go on the primary server, so you simply just press that. There, the, under the under file, you simply press the blue highlighted button, and it pops up in the bottom left of your screen. And you want to press on that, and you want to because I'm on Windows 8, it's not trusted, but it is obviously going to be a trusted software. You're going to close down this page now, and you're going to follow the simple steps. You press I agree, install, and you want to launch vPilot. As you can see, vPilot is launching, and this says you haven't fully configured it. I would like to do it, do it now and you simply then just press yes and do the simple things that follow. As to your CID which you signed up to the VASM network with which is mine is going in there now and the password which you put in uh, below. Your full name and your home airport or the airport you're most comfortable with which is Headcoff Mike Charlie. So if I'm in the UK you're going to press UK performance do not display aircraft beyond five nautical miles is what I always use and maximum aircraft display is one that's just you can set it to whatever you want this is all the sort of stuff you want to know down here uh, and you can put to your own commands and then you're going to go onto the audio so set now a push to talk button microphone device we're using the turtle beach direct sound and direct sound again for turtle beach and we're going to set to push the talk button and you just press that and the key we want to use we then press so I use left control current uh, clear current push to uh, talk button we do not want to do you simply then press up lie proves that choose at least one model matching rule set so now we need to go into the model matching tab I've set default and you just got to simply press all of this down here Refresh list, and there we go. Got to sort of just press all them in again. So, like I said, just press all of them again, and then you what you want to do is add custom files. No, you don't want to do that. Cancel that. You want to press download, and then as you can see, it's downloading all the aircraft. So to go through that again, you press model matching and then you would simply just press all of the aircraft and press download checked. And that's just doing that now. So it's just simply doing that now. Done 170 aircraft. Another 20 odd to do. There you go. And then what you want to do now is you want to press all of the boxes down on this side again to make sure that it does use them aircraft in the flight simulator. And then what you do then is press apply and then OK. So now we are all ready to connect to the flight simulator on on the VATSIM network. So go into your flight simulator which I've loaded up here on the on the ground. And we're going to simply then open up vPilot and you're going to press connect. Recent aircraft. The aircraft we're in, the call sign is going to be Golf November Alpha Tank Hotel. Golf November Alpha Tank Hotel. Type code is a Cessna 172, Cessna C12. So code, code not going to be required. Recent aircraft, that will pop up when you press that down uh, tab there. All your recent aircraft will appear in there. So now you just press connect. And we are now on the Vatsim network. Now we're going to go through some things. As you can see, uh, down this left hand side here, it's got all the controllers that you've got in your range. It takes a minute to load all them in. To so squawk mode, Charlie, you simply press the mode C button once, and if you want to squawk ident, you press the ident button, which you're not going to focus on at all. Now we're going to focus on the flight plan tab. You do that, and you fill this in as required. It's very much futuristic. So we're going to fill this in. We are VFR, departure airport is Echo Golf. 
departure airport, sorry, I've just lost something. The departure airport we we are flying out of today is I've got to saying to quickly load up. So the flight plan you'll go over flying VFR and the uh where we're flying out of is Echo Golf Mike Ch Echo Golf Mike Juliet, I think it's that. The station airport, we're not gonna drill in it's gonna be VFR and then once you've filled all of the in the route your remarks, I think you'll just send file press the file flight plan button. But obviously we haven't um sent anything like that or any or we haven't sent uh our flight plan off because we don't really need to, we only do this as a tutorial basis. Go into settings and then you can do all the stuff that we've just done a minute ago. Uh reset all that. And like I said, the, so it's been a minute now or two, and the uh, all the controllers have appeared. So, and you want to set the comms, and the comm will change everything like that. And to simply disconnect, you press disconnect. That's it, we've been disconnected off the network. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Um, there is a lot more content coming your way. Uh, just a video I wanted to get out there to help everyone that is suffering the V-Pilot. Uh, it's a very up-to-date I have to connect to the vaccine network. It's a very quick way to do it as well. I really strongly recommend it. And uh, make sure you press the subscribe button. And also go and give me a follow on the Twitch link below. Check out BBM Virtual Airlines. And until the next video, goodbye.